Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an especially fun video because one, I'm filming on a new camera, I'm filming on my new EOS 70D, and I'm kind of in a new area of my room. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I don't know how I feel about the background yet, but I have three big windows in front of me and my ring light, so this is probably the best area lighting wise to film in my room, but I'm not sure how I feel about the background, so let me know what you guys think about it. The second reason, that today is an especially fun video is because it's my 18th birthday. It's October 20th and I turned 18 today. And I just thought that I would get ready with you guys on camera. I really don't know what kind of makeup I'm gonna do yet. So we're kind of in this together and we'll see how it goes. So if you guys want to get ready with me on my 18th birthday, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I usually do this in all of my videos, but my lips are especially dry today. So I definitely need to moisturize. Next, I'm going to take my YSL um, Couture Eye Primer in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to put this all over my lids as a base. I think I mentioned this in one of my videos, but I just recently got this primer, and I like it a lot. It's really, really creamy. Um, I put it in my September Favorites, and it's just like a really, really good consistency. Also, it makes my eyeshadow like not crease all day, and it makes the color stand out on top of it. And it makes my eyeshadows really easy to blend on top of it as well. So I'm definitely really, really liking this primer. And I just remembered that I need to do my eyebrows. Because I told myself that I was going to do my eyebrows on camera today. And I totally am used to just like going straight to my eyeshadow primer. So after we put this on... I'm going to do my eyebrows. So recently I tried out a new technique. It's the soap brows technique. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's basically where you take a bar of soap and a regular spoolie and you wet the spoolie and then you, um, I'll show you, you kind of like twirl the spoolie around on the soap and it works as an eyebrow gel. And it works really, really well for me. Um, I've had good experience with it. My eyebrows stay in place all day. So I'm not gonna get up and go get water right now to dip this in, but I'm just going to take this Mario Badescu spray, which works the same, you just need to get your spoolie a little bit wet. And then I'm going to take this. I heard it works better with like um, a clear soap, but this is the only bar of soap I have. So I'm just going to brush through my brows um, with the spoolie. And it definitely kind of gets like a little bit soapy-ish. Um, but the good thing about doing soap brows is that you can brush your brows in whatever direction you want. So if you have like really, really sparse areas, um, you can just kind of like make your eyebrows look a lot fuller and kind of fill in those areas without necessarily actually filling them in. So next, I'm going to be taking my NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to line underneath my brow. And in some places, I like to make like a straight outline across, and in other places, I just kind of like to make my own little hairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> And then I just kind of brush through as I go. It doesn't really matter if it's not as precise as you want it to be at first um, because we're gonna go under with concealer at the end. So as you can see right there, I kind of made like an outline at the bottom of my brow for the shape. And I'm just going to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Now I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. I'm going to take this small concealer brush and outline the bottom of my brows. Now I'm just going to go around the outer part of the top of my brow and outline that as well as the arch a little bit.
Okay, that was like the longest it's ever taken me to do a brow. I think it's because I was so under pressure. So I'm just gonna do the other brow off camera. And then later on when I feel more comfortable, I will do a full brow routine because that was awful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that the hardest part of my makeup is over with, I'm going to take some regular scotch shape and I'm going to line it up with my bottom waterline um, like I usually do when I use tape. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange and I'm going to buff that into my crease. Now I'm just going to be going in with the shade Red Ochre and I'm going to put that on top of where I put Burnt Orange. I'm just going to spray this flat shader brush with my Mario Badescu rose water spray and I'm going to use the shade Primavera and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Okay, now I'm just going to take this shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to put that kind of on like the outer V of my eye. Okay. <laughs> Your what? Your birthday post? Okay, I'll go look. Happy birthday to my best friend. Happy we became so close and can't wait for many more memories with you. Aw, look how cute. Blaine made me a birthday post. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, bye. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Master Precise and I'm going to make a winged liner. Now I'm just going to take off these tapes. Now I'm just going to take Maybelline Baby Skin and I'm going to kind of prime and minimize my pores with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the same two foundations that I always do, my Makeup Forever HD and my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm just going to do one pump of the Makeup Forever on the back of my hand and two pumps of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And I know, I always say this, but I know this doesn't look like my shade, but once everything is together, it'll be okay. My Makeup Rubber HD actually is for when I'm really tan, so that one actually isn't my shade, but I really like the consistency of that foundation. So I just mix my naked skin with it, and it makes it a little bit more realistic. Just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. And now we're in Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm going to make two triangles underneath my eyes and kind of start my nose contour with this. And then some on my chin, on the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna kind of clean up my winged liner with this. And in the middle of my forehead. Now I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. Also, sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, I'm not used to having a viewfinder. My parents 
I'll be doing a birthday haul too, by the way. I forgot to mention. So I'm definitely going to be filming that and this will be in that haul. But I thought I would go ahead and tell you guys because you guys probably can notice that I'm looking over to the side and I've never had a viewfinder before. And also I have it hooked up to my computer. So if I'm looking over here, it's because I have a screen on my computer as well. And um, I'm just not used to being able to see myself while I'm filming. I always kind of just had to wing it or like put a mirror behind my camera, which was like really far back. And I had to look into that and use that as a viewfinder. So I'm definitely, it's something that I'm definitely gonna have to get used to. Now I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake under my eyes with my beauty blender. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I don't know what happened to mine. Don't ask. I have no idea what happened. And I'm going to take the two, or actually, I'm just going to mix all the three bottom contour shades and just carve out my face. And now I'm just going to contour the top of my forehead. And I'm going to take that middle contour shade and contour down the sides of my nose and this hair is in my face. And then going back and just mixing all the bottom three, I'm going to put that on my jawline and then drag it down to my neck since this face definitely a little bit more tan than my neck and I'm just gonna go back in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake underneath my contour now I'm going to take my Dallas box blush by benefit and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks Now I'm going to take my Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. It's been shattered for so long and I finally fixed it and I'm so happy because now I can use it without worrying that it's going to fall out and go everywhere. Now I'm just going to wipe away all of the places that I baked. I'm gonna go in with the shade Vermeer, I believe it's called, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye just to kind of brighten things up. Now I'm gonna go back in with the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to smoke that on my bottom lash line. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply my L'Oreal Voluminous Women Lashes Excess Mascara to my top and bottom lashes before I apply some falsies. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, I'm just gonna line my lips with the Kylie Lip Kit in Dolce and then use the Jeffree Star Lip Kit, or Lip Kit, Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Lastly, I'm just going to spray my face with my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And this is the final result. I kind of was iffy about it at first, but I actually think it's pretty decent. I like it right now. So yeah, this is the end of this video and I have to get going because my friends are coming to celebrate with me and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you guys here. Thanks for watching again and I hope to see you guys next.